Hello and welcome to a new video about measurement. We are measuring flow. Okay, and one of the first flow measurement systems I want to talk about is the differential pressure method. I will explain how this is working. Okay, let's say we have a certain flow, we have a tube with a certain flow, and we have here a tube and then it will getting narrow, and we have here another diameter simply. Yeah? So we have here an A1, area 1, and here we have an area 2 size. Okay? And what I'm actually measuring is the pressure difference between those two things. Yeah? So I'm pressuring and measuring the delta B between this position and this position. That's it. And how does it does it work that though that I can realize from this delta B to the flow? Yeah? But because actually what I want to know is here yeah? there is the flow. Volume change. Yeah? V point. We start at Bernoulli's equation. Alright? So the energy equation, energy is mass multiplied by velocity squared half uh, plus pressure multiplied by volume plus height. Uh, this is constant. This is Bernoulli. Bernoulli's law, Bernoulli equation. Yeah? So this is this is kinematic. Kinetic energy, this potential energy, energy. This is from the pressure and this is from the height. Okay. So if I divide this by T, yeah, so if I say that the the power is actually the energy divided by time, huh? then I will have that is also constant. Okay? This is also constant. Yeah. Why not? Now, what is the mass huh? which is traveling here? Yeah. This is the density multiplied by the flow. Yeah. Cubic meters, kilos per cubic meters, mass, yeah. mass flow. Then the velocity, the velocity is The flow divided by the area. This means the velocity of the of the fluid. Yeah? It's velocity. Okay. So if I'm using those things here, yeah? I can write, I just replace this M, yeah? just replace this M, and I have here rho divided by V point multiplied by uh, squared this is already V point yeah? And here, okay, and this is, uh, now I will put it here also.
use this one here for W. constant all right all right so i will have this v point in cubic meters all right so v point is in cubic meters per second yeah so this t is one second so this is this is one here, yeah. And now I will write this simply. Okay. So for this for this application, so we have we have here a row. A one, yeah. At this point, squared, this is this term, divided by 2, this t is 1 second, all right, yeah, plus p1, the pressure at this side, we have here p1, we have here p2, and between we have a delta p, p1 multiplied by v point, yeah, uh, plus rho, okay, divided by 1 actually, because this t is 1 still, and this is constant, so I mean now on the other side we have exactly the same, rho divided by v point, v point divided by a2 squared, huh? half, plus p2, v point plus, and now here there is nothing, v point, everything is, is the same, it's the same height, yeah? So this is the same I can get rid of this yeah? so these two things will exactly because this equal signs yeah? and I will divide by V point because now in every term we have this V point inside all right so let's see what's then happening. Uh, we have here rho v point squared divided by 2a1 square, uh, because this v1 is away, yeah, plus p1 equals rho v point squared divided by 2a2 squared plus p2. Okay. Now we'll separate those variables. So I will have here P1 minus P2 equals rho four point squared 2A2 squared minus rho 2A1 squared. Okay, this is this and this is already delta P. Okay. So, uh, delta B, get this out, yeah, so actually this equals rho four point squared half, uh, 1 divided by A2 squared minus 1 divided by A1 squared, and this is rho Four point squared half poo. <laughs> a one squared minus a two squared divided by a one squared multiplied by a two squared. Brought this to the same to the same base. So okay, now I just have to just have to it's here written 
delta b equals rho four squared half a1 squared minus a2 squared divided by a1 squared multiplied by a2 squared. Now I want this v point equals, and now I have here 2 times delta b divided by rho, the density, yeah. Then I have here a1 multiplied by a2 squared, this is the lower term, divided by a1 squared minus a2 squared, and then I have the squared left, so I have a square root. Ta -ta. Huh? Maybe. Yeah, actually that's the formula. Huh? So if I really measure here the pressure difference, yeah, from the pressure difference and the known areas, I can really determine the flow. Woo! Yeah. So this is how differential pressure is working basically. Yeah. Maybe I put in another another variant. Yeah. So I, st I still resolve this here. So v point equals a1 multiplied by a2 divided by square root of a1 squared minus minus a2 squared yeah, multiplied it's just the same formula uh, no, just just wrote it a little bit different looks more convenient I think all right so now we know how this looks like. Well, but you know, this, there, I have this diameter for a reason, right? There is this diameter and there is a reason that I have this diameter. Why should I build in a narrow thing? Yeah. So actually it is not looking like that. Actually it's looking more like that. It's an orifice. Okay. Measurement orifice. One possibility, yeah, I always thought this would be the direction of flow, yeah, but actually it's this. Yeah. So we built this inside, we built this inside our tube. Yeah. So here's the tube. And here is this orifice. Measurement orifice, yeah? and here we make the measurement here and here delta p, yeah? because actually the stream is here narrowing down, and here it will open up again, but slowly. Okay, depending depending on the streams on the on the on the orifice form, well, there is difference okay there is a difference what is the effective area to and so on this depends a little bit on the form of the orifice you have to check yeah, but this is how it is working how is this built in in our <laughs> in our tube here this is for instance one possibility you see here is the orifice inside here there is a hole for before the orifice, yeah. and if I turn it over, back, here's the hole for behind the orifice, yeah. and here's the orifice inside, and I can exchange this orifice with the one I need. You see, this one is slightly smaller than this one, so there are different orifices available. I can build in with the same thingy in my in my tube. Yeah. So this is how this is looking in real life. Yeah? So this is Messblende yeah? in German. Orifice. 
then of course there would be the possibility this causes quite a lot of turbulence. Yeah? So here I have turbulence and so on. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, tur little turbulence and also here. If I make it like this, then I make it like that. And I make here delta B. So then actually I'm narrowing down and widening it up again. Yeah, it is an orifice. Orifice. Is this really correctly spelled? If I'm not correctly spelled, mesplained in German, orifice in, in English. Uh, I will. I will just write it somewhere in the video. And this is a Venturi nozzle. Venturi Düse. Yeah. And this is causing less turbulence. And then we have things like that, that we really narrowing down, slightly narrow down, go down with the whole tube and then go up again. Here, yeah, so then this is slight changes and so on. Here we have then the Venturi tube. There would be the possibilities. However, what are what are the benefits of these things? What are the benefits of these things? No moving parts. No moving parts at all. Yeah. Nothing can get stuck, nothing <sighs> working, yeah? Yeah. For different nominal sizes. No problem. Yeah. Can be these Venturi tubes they can be in, in really big tubes, yeah, working. Yeah. Uh, for most gases and fluids and and liquids. For, so for the for, for the most fluids for gases and liquids suitable, yeah? and it's common common in use. So if you're talking about differential pressure flow measurement, everybody knows what you're talking about. Right? It's widely used, common in use. What are the downsides? Yeah. Not linear. Not linear. There is a square root. Not linear. Uh, sensitive. Where we have this. Here the density. Yeah. The density changes. And pressure peaks. Okay. If you have a pressure peak somewhere in the in the tube, uh, because there is a, no a pump or whatever close by, then it is different. Uh, it is it is sensitive to this. Yeah. Uh, we have wear, yeah. and we have a permanent pressure loss. Since we have friction, the pressure here and somewhere here is not the same. We have a permanent loss of pressure yeah? and not suitable for low flows. Well, simply because there's the square root. If this is very tiny, this, you know, it's, 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 it's tiny, there is only tiny differential pressures. And they are hard to measure. Yeah? They are hard to measure. Uh, so maintenance costs. Maintenance costs. Okay. 
that's it yeah accuracy zero dot six to two percent of n scale value two percent no okay and what else you have to keep in mind this stream here this is should be already pretty nice stream yeah so a differential pressure right behind a band yeah, is not is not working yeah so there need to be some cooling down length before yeah? and and if this is the intake yeah this is the outtake intake without disturbance so no band no no other things no no uh, temperature measurement probes or something like this uh, around 5 to 80 d uh, this is the diameter d here So at least five times the diameter there must be nothing yeah out it's 4d to 8d so on the outside it's not that sensitive because everything's already done but i already intake the, the longer the intake the longer the stream here has potential or 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 possibility to to smooth huh? the more accurate the measurement will be huh? all right so that's differential pressure flow measurement next time we're talking about another more simple method than this one yeah next time we're talking about uh floating floating flow measurement there's something floating and we're measuring flow <laughs> and it's not like the ducks and the they're floating by and just see how fast they're floating no <laughs> no no uh something else yeah? what exactly will be explained in the next video for this time thank you very much for listening goodbye <laughs>